Legal highs and club drugs can ruin your life. Just because they're legal doesn't mean they're safe. And you could become the next statistic without even realising you're in danger. Why gamble with your life? Hester Stewart was a 21-year-old award-winning medical student. and She died after consuming a combination of alcohol and GBL given to her by a friend at an awards ceremony. This girl here was Louise Cattell, one of my best mates. She died aged 21 after drowning in the bath because she took more ketamine than her body could cope with. Freddie McConnell was an 18 year old gifted musician who got hooked on methadrone and that eventually led him to die of an overdose from heroin. Legal highs and club drugs are not only killers, they can also cause you massive damage mentally and physically. Some people completely lose their minds, others lose control of their bladders and start urinating blood. The damage of legal highs might not even be your fault. Kat Hedger was 19 when her drink was spiked with GHB. She's been in a wheelchair ever since. She's paralysed from the waist down. Joe Bennett was a 17-year-old chap who died on September 27th of 2012. He was in a coma for four weeks after inhaling laughing gas. Alex Herriot was a 19-year-old media student who was excited about going to university. That is until he tried Benzo Fury, a legal high, at the Rock Nest Festival in the summer of 2012 and died.